Hello guys and welcome to a new let's play or let's say uh, gameplay walkthrough. We are playing a demo of Panchito Chepas. I hope I uh, pronounced that right. It's an uh, indie adventure based on the classic LucasArts adventures like Day of the Tentacle, Manic Mansion. And it's uh, actually programmed by or developed by three developers, young guys from Spain. They want to raise 6,000 euros and they're up to about 960 by now. So we'll see. What's the game actually about? It's a satirical point and click adventure filled with quirky characters, handmade animations, and challenging puzzles. And the rest of it. We will see within the game because I will start that right now and as I said we only have the demo so um, here we are. <laughs> Tell yourself Spicks, the mayor is cold. He's coming. Alright, so yes we are, it's a, it's a beautiful start for a game, we are in jail and um, we play the role of Panchito Chepas, the one who actually gives the name to that game. We are, well, an innocent guy, seemingly, innocent character, uh, who has just arrived in a godforsaken town and we will discover that gold is the real engine of the town and all the dirty tricks we know about uh, will be put to the test in order to acquire all the precious gold. So we will get to that. In the course of the game, um, it says on the page, there is uh, this is no game for a person of high morals. To get through, you will have to be a real bastard. And yes, I can assure you, I only played for about 10 minutes. But yes, it's quite an uh, entertaining game, but yeah, really satirical. So um, let's get going. As we are in jail, you already got to know um, the troll. He doesn't have a name himself. Uh, he got captured and educated in the most rude and rough ways. This magic being guards the gar bzz, guards the prison. Sorry. So what we can do is uh, yes, point and click adventures. So um, we can left and right click on things. We have a red hole, a uh, window, the shoe, which is actually our inventory. So if we click on that like this, oh let's see, we have a glass and some bread that's always nice to have we can already save that's really great i mean it's only a demo i don't really know how long it will take but it's always nice to, uh, bzz, <laughs> nice to have a safe state and uh what's next so here lies mr lemon the bridge builder of the town actually and oh he actually yeah he lost some or he didn't eat obviously his cheese if you right click you can um, choose an, an action, so to look at things, talk to somebody, pick up things. So first thing we want to do is we want to grab our pillow and uh, tidy our bed, right? I'm not a pervert! Uh, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, then grab the shoe. The shoe's the inventory, you idiot! I'm sorry. So then grab the cheese. Oh, for me? Well, you could at least ask the guy who's sleeping there, but yeah, pff, it's for you. Then let's have a look at uh, the red hole. Rats! Ugh, I hate them! Well, that's, uh, yeah, <laughs> good to know. Window. They should fix that hole. The cold gets inside. <laughs> so yeah, another thing you will realize throughout the game we are actually quite dumb. So, well, I, I don't know how to put it. You, you could say naive or dumb or childish. Uh, yeah, childish. Uh, I think nails it. Um, so, next thing. Why don't you look at Mr. Lemon? Stare at him for a bit. My new cellmate. He smells like lemon. Yeah, that's why he's called Mr. Lemon. Because he, he probably drank too much uh, vodka or whatever. Then let's talk to him. Hello, my name is Panchito Chippas. Oh, I'm hungry. Help me. Ah, uh, yeah. Sure thing. Um, let's just look in the inventory and give you some cheese. Ooh. 
I have lactose into to tolerance me okay he wants some meat uh, well you, you could have a red can we use the cheese with the uh... I don't want to huh? I don't want to be stolen okay well then use the cheese with the bread Arr, nothing I can't manage to put the bread into the cheese uh, then just put it in the glass. A delicious idea! Seriously. You just put a cheese into a glass and call that a delicious idea. Okay, then use the glass with the red hole. Get out, Red! I want to see your ponytail! Seriously. You're mine! Oh no, we captured a red. Great stuff. <laughs> glass with red. Now we can serve that because it's, uh, well, you know. At last, a good idea. Yeah, it's almost a gr <laughs> Jesus, a red sandwich. Mmm, yummy. So he wanted to have meat, right? So let's just, well, a delicious idea. Crunch, crunch. Thank you. I feel much better now. That's always good to know. I mean, I know the feeling. If you're hungry, so uh, let's talk to him again, because he sure has something to say. Hello, my name is Panchito Chepas. You've already told me that you don't seem very clever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. The truth is, I'm not. <laughs> well, you fed me. You deserve my sympathy. My name's Franklin Bukuguti, bridge builder. Great. Uh, what is your favorite animal? Maybe rat? You smell of lemons. Mm, gin and lemon. Uh, yeah, gin tonic. All right. I was going with vodka or something, but yeah, gin tonic. Uh, which is your favorite animal? You're definitely not very smart. Great. Mine is the... Uh, <laughs> what is Bridge Builder doing in, in prison anyway? I mean, seriously, dude. I'll say in a way even you will understand. Alcohol. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. Alcohol always gets me into prison as well. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> How long have you been here? They put me in here yesterday. But as soon as the mayor finds out, they will release me because I'm very important and stuff. Oh, you're so lucky. Oh, 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 it hurts. Oh, oh, what's going on? It hurts a lot. Mm. What was in the, in the sandwich? Ugh. A delicious rat sandwich. Don't you like it? Oh, I, I've eaten a, a, a rat. You're so lucky. You are. Uh, are oh, you devil spawn? Uh, the door was more polite than you. <laughs> the door. Oops. And that's it. We're ten minutes into the game and we killed somebody in jail, in our cell. Isn't that lovely with a red sandwich? I mean, who wouldn't die of that? So, um... Problem is, as you already saw the text, yes, we like his mustache. So that's one thing. We could at least look at it. He really stinks of lemon. Okay, then, uh... Oh, no. Then, uh... He's dead. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Then let's pick him up. He has an elegant mustache. You should pick pick the corpse. And a pointed one. Seriously, dude? I have an elegant mustache. <laughs> and a pointed one. You have dropped another clanger again, fool. I, I am sorry, Mr. Mayor. There are no excuses, Bruno. No excuses. If you want to keep your job, you shouldn't take action on your own. But the inspector come around field said, Shut up. I will take care of the inspector. You take care of getting my bridge builder out of jail where he's never should have been. Okay. Yes, Mr. Mayor. I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. Take me to him. It really smells like lemon. Ah, here you are. At least I am here. Yeah, it was about time. You look very thin. Are you okay, Franklin? <laughs> no, Franklin's actually dead, but... 
So yeah, that's <laughs> that's already very uh, you know wrong. We're impersonating the bridge builder we just killed. So by poisoning or whatever. <laughs> Better than you, as I see. <laughs> Get me out of here immediately. Release me now, short ass. Dude, that's the mayor. <laughs> Let's go, Franklin. Good. Seriously, that's how you talk to the mayor? Papadero, the sun has never stopped shining since I've been here. Oh, Frankie, it's a pleasure to have you on our soil again. Yes. Huh, yes, but I didn't make you call only because of that. Nope. Let's go for a walk. That's so funny now. Horse! <laughs> <laughs> the village has changed a lot since we pursued girls together with a bottle in our hands. Bottles in our hands. <laughs> no doubt. The thing is that the gold mine gold is over. Gold? Yes, you know as well as I do that it has always been the engine of our town. Do I? Merchants don't want to travel 200 miles to come here. Well, I wouldn't want to do that either, so... If they can't go back home with their carts full of gold ingots. Makes sense. We've tried with money, but it runs out faster than we would wish. Okay. Oh, there's a river nearby. So a month ago, we sent Santiago and Raul to look for, a new, go for new gold mines. Three months passed before they came back. Santiago and Raul, as useless as ever. <laughs> we don't even know them. <laughs> the point is that they found a mine on the other side of the river. Come here. <laughs> We're such a jerk. <laughs> Literally. The mine is over there. Yes, I can see it. And that's the reason why I made you come here. Is that so? You will build a bridge to bring all that gold here. Can't you go on foot like the useless Santiago and Raul? If only, but in fact only Raul came back alive. It's a long and tortuous route. Ah, damn it. But can't you go... Ha, ha, you haven't changed a bit, Frankie, have you? Ha, ha. Well, to work. <laughs> ah, damn it. Why do you have the blueprints I ordered you to bring? Uh, yeah, those of your last bridge. I want one just like that. Wide and strong. Where are they? Uh, well... Oh, of course you wouldn't go out partying with them on you, right? <laughs> well, who would do that? <laughs> Where were you staying? Um, uh, which is your favorite animal? <laughs> It's Santiago's house now that he's dead. <laughs> Where were you staying? So, uh, in the saloon with the horse. <laughs> in the saloon? Haha, <laughs> I remember. In your uncle's house. Where else, right? I mean... I've got things to do. Bring them later to my office. See you, Frankie. Okay. So, all I have to do is build a stupid bridge to get all that gold? But first I will have to find those blueprints the short-ass mayor was talking about. Yeah, you probably should do that. Let's get started! Oof, yeah, then why don't we get started? Um, so right now we are in the village. And, um, well, let's walk around. What is, where are we? Korokoro's Palace, yeah, I can read. Go to the alley. Let's go to the alley. Oh yeah. Who's sleeping over there? The window. <laughs> Great. Uh, so we have stall. Can we pick that? Pick up. I like what I'm wearing. Well, you weren't supposed to go around in boxes. Don't worry. Pile of stones. No, you don't want to pick up stones. Go to the crossroad. Ah, damn it. What the hell? Okay. Go to the main street. I like the graphics, actually. I mean, if it's hand-drawn, it looks pretty nice. What is that? That is the... Oh! 
Oh no, that's the... Okay, that's not a building. Obviously. Can't we go back here? Seriously? Okay. Then let's go back to the crossroad. And go back to the alley. Because we want to find the uh, city hall, actually. Where, where did we come from? Uh, seriously? Bokoguti's home. Uh, yeah. I'm still looking for the city hall. Go to the alley. Where the... Oh, wagon. Wait, where did we... Where exactly did we come from? It is too old to use. Yeah, I know that, but I want to go... Oh, Korokoro's palace. Okay. It's sharp. Sharp. You were supposed to go in there. Well, if that's the main street, why can't I leave the main street? Wheel. Oh. So tell me, what would I want to with a wheel for? Uh, what would I want a wheel for? Uh, they're useless. Yeah, that's, that's the most stupidest thing ever invented, right? <laughs> uh, where's that damn... Korokoro's Palace, Rio... Oh, oh, it's the Rio Bravo, actually, great. Uh, so let's look at some things here, go to the crossroads. Um, sorry, guys. Uh, go to the alley. Nice pile of stones. Yeah, but where's the place that I actually started at? I mean... Bokuguti's home. Mr. Bokuguti, where did you spend last night? Uh, uh, in a hotel whilst being watched by a monster. That's right, I was being watched by a monster. A big uh, Gyarados or whatever. <laughs> you are so funny, I have a lot of work to do. Let me know if you need something. Yes, could you tell me where the city hall is? Oh, look at that booty. <laughs> okay. Uh, Conchita? Conchita, could we... <laughs> no, sorry. Don't want to be racist. Um, so we still have a glass. But uh, that doesn't help me at all, does it? Stairs. Okay. Maybe that's... That isn't... Well, that's... You can't go up, sir. I have just cleaned up. <sighs> Okay, then open the door. Uh, uh, pick up... No. Can you, can you pick up things in here? What's she doing? Table clock. If the cleaner would just stop looking at me. We're the biggest thief in town, obviously. Go out to the alley. There's a... D ah, okay. It's closed. And it will always be. Alright. Can we go somewhere around here? Or what is that? It doesn't seem to open. Charles, you can continue. What? It's... Get out! What the hell's going on? Are they doing it in there? Or <laughs> Go to the jewelers. Okay. Ah, finally. <laughs> I just want to get back here. I mean, that's... Go to the square? No. Where's the uh, saloon entrance? Go to the saloon. Let's do it! Yeah, <laughs> let's do it, horse bitches! Horse! <laughs> you hear? I don't want to ever look at you again! Uh oh. But how dare you step into my place after what you did last night? Ooh, we were so bad. <laughs> but, but I didn't. Listen to me, Franklin. Don't make me call Camparo. Tondo again. Get out, get out. Hush, hush, hush. Okay. Pa. At this time, all ladies are sleeping. Yeah, what a shame. So, um. Jola. Sign. Prison. No, we don't want to get back into prison. Welcome, sign. Papadero Creek. That's where we are, actually. 
And that's a dead end. So let's go back here. Uh, window. To the window! To the wow! To the wow. Ah, there we are! That's the statue! That's not supposed to be the mayor, right? Seriously, dude. Gosh! Kind of arrogant. Oh! I didn't even see the donkey right there. Hello! Let's go into the city hall. Oh, what happened over there? Let's talk to the guy on the ladder. Oh, Mexican. <laughs> okay, uh, talk to the Mexican. Hey you! I'm Mr. Franklin, how long? What do you want? That's actually, well that's kind of Italian, but it's not Mexican. Not that good at Hispanic accents. Uh, what a mustache, dude! <laughs> yeah, let's rob that one as well. By killing him or throwing him off the ladder or something. Uh, so actually, the first thing we want to know is which is your favorite animal? <laughs> the possum, sir. The possum. Well, what a rubbishy animal. Who's... <laughs> who's pig? <laughs> well, that's obviously the mayor. I mean, that's kind of obvious. We are sitting in front of the city hall and someone who doesn't like the mayor uh, sprayed pig all over the entrance. That's kind of obvious, dude. Even for you, that should be obvious. Um, give me a letter. I can't, sir. I need it for my job. Okay. Ah, but you work? No, we don't want to talk to him anymore. Uh, <laughs> I don't give a shit about your problems. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, go with God, Mr. Franklin. Go with God. Great. Okay, so let's enter the city hall. And as we are in the city hall, guys, I guess we will, um, well, we don't cut it short, but we will cut it right here for the first episode, because we obviously need more than one episode. Um, oh, hi. Miss, uh, whatever. What's her name? Coat of Arms. No, that's the, oh, the secretary. Secretary of State. <laughs> no. Um, so, yeah, we, we've seen a lot of the town, and um, right here in the end card, Feel free to uh, subscribe to our channel if you like the video and if you want to see more of the Let's Play gameplay walkthrough, we will definitely finish this demo in a couple of episodes, I guess. Um, if you like the game, please give a thumbs up, feel free to donate and you find all the information from the developer and the game and all the characters down in the uh, description box. You can click on the link to go to Indiegogo. If you click next episode, you will see what's happening here in the city hall. And if you click last episode, you will come to the very first episode of our English Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Nintendo 64 Classic. Um, and with that, I wanna say thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time here on Let's Play Panchito Chepas. Yeah, right, that's our name. So, see you later, guys.